Cindy, and thank you very much. Thank you very much for uh, staying up here late with us because we do have some new information on this tropical disturbance. You might hear some people call it Invest 98L. It's just a nomenclature, what we're calling it out here right now, but there is a high chance, 80% chance in the next 48 hours, this is going to be named as it drifts off towards the west on uh, Monday, Tuesday, and eventually nearing the uh, southeast coast of Florida by Wednesday. Still kind of a range here on how it's going to develop because uh, right now, center of circulation actually right about in here, it's exceptionally disorganized. And anytime we still have a disorganized low pressure area with all the convection well away from the center, uh, models still tend to have a hard time kind of handling how this is going to wrap up here. But right now, though, that's where the center is right about there. So we are seeing the shear kind of interact with it. But most of the guidance expects us to move off to North butting in with an area of high pressure that's going to keep it on that westward track over uh, Tuesday and also into Wednesday. And then there's a slight shift uh, towards the east with the guidance, which we're expecting to see that long range shift back and forth here until this really starts to wrap up and come in a little bit more organized. But this is a key thing I want you to pay attention to. Of course, we're, we're, we like to show these guidances. They're really easy to understand, but I don't want you to draw too much attention to the center line of where this area of low pressure is likely going to go because the worst of the weather will be removed from that center off towards the north because of an interaction with an area of high pressure towards north. We got this tight pressure graded all along the east coast of Florida. Uh, really winds picking up on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday is going to be more of a nor'easter uh, than anything with that strong onshore wind thanks to that interaction beach erosion. But this is the other. This is the, the big thing. The rain is, of course, important, but you have the king tide that's going to combine with that northeasterly wind. So coastal flooding is going to be likely and already a coastal flood watch has been issued by the National Weather Service through Friday evening all along uh, the first coast here. St. John's River already running high. That's following uh, Ian, by the way, and then you have those winds that's going to push that king tide up again. And let's just look at some of the times here for St. Augustine. By the way, St. Augustine low lying areas already flood on a normal king tide. You do see some low lying flooding combined with a solid 40 50 mile per hour wind. Yeah, th there is that threat there, and I think that's going to be the big topic. Rainfall as well. Some areas you see much just four to five inches. We'll talk more about that here in the forecast through your Monday coming up in just a bit. Des.